So y'all want to make low poly characters, so I'm about to show you. We're going to start by making a basic low poly character in Blender. Then we're going to take it over to mix them up. Then we're going to add some little animation, take it back to Blender, and then we're going to show you the finished product. This is a beginner friendly tutorial, so we're going to run for a lot of tips, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, we're going to try to make it as fast as possible for y'all, and as fun as possible for y'all. So let's get straight into it. Now we open up Blender. We want to get rid of everything besides the cube keep the cube right so G allows you to move your move your object whatever you know what I'm saying you will have some shortcuts popping up on the screen so you can follow through make it a lot easier for y'all so we want to hit edit on the side we have loop cut loop cut that go on transparent view up here so you can see everything go back on the select mode Hit that whole side, the whole left side of the, the, the loop. Delete that face. Now we delete that face, go into object mode, modifier, generate a mirror modifier, add it on the Y axis, turn on clipping. I'll show you why. So if you turn on clipping, everything will stay together as opposed to like that. So. I turn on clipping, keep that together. I go back on edit mode. And what you want to do is add a subdivision surface. Cool. Now we got our subdivision surface. We're going to hit apply. Go back onto edit mode. And now we have all these points that we can edit from. Grab our face, grab what we want the chin to be. Bring it down a bit. It says. Let's keep it straight. And as you can see, we already have a basic head shape right there. Now, for the body, another cube, bring it up here. Okay. Edit most. Look at it from a straight view. So, yeah, extrude down. Torso and the hips, bring the hips out a bit more. Torso a bit more down. Remember, this is a very basic low poly character we're making, so you can't really go into depth with the features that you want. It just takes a little time. So I'm just showing you how simple it can really be. Now we go back, loop cut. Turn it to transparent so you can see the other side. Select mode. Same thing as we did with the head. We're gonna delete those faces. Now we have this, same thing, modifier, generate, mirror modifier. Now we can start building our character's body a bit more. It really all just depends on how you want it. But we just won't leave it like that for now. Cool, it looks like he's big chilling. <laughs> now we got the head and the body together, start working on some legs. So what I do just to make the legs a little faster, I go on the body, edit mode, select all the points for where the torso, um, for where the hips will be, everything that connects to the hip, come on, shift D to duplicate, bring it down, like I said, maybe widen it a bit or not, depends on what you want, looks like a lot, <laughs> but yeah, something like that. This is all, it all depends on preference as well, it's just whatever you want. Now, we're going to go face mode, select the face, extrude down. And perfect. Now, same thing we did, just edit the points to however you want. And now, this is my little tip. Now that we have everything mirrored, I want to take these parts of the legs. So just this section right here. So now I got the most part of the legs. I want to separate. And I'm just going to separate selection. There we go. Separate the selection. Same thing mirrored. I'm just going to delete that mirror. So now I have just one leg. Now that we've deleted our mirror modifier, we have one leg. So I'm just gonna scale it a bit in. I'm 
There we go. Now we have two legs. Let me just see what this bit is over here. Now we have to start up a character. Now we're gonna build some arms. Okay, now let's build the arms. What you wanna do? Same thing as before, go on edit mode, loop cut on the body. Loop cut a nice little section like that. Select the face of the object. And we're gonna extrude it out. Remember this all depends on however you want your character to look, so whatever you kind of style you're going for, maybe you'll take some research, look into a couple pictures and see what they they look like kind of thing and just build your base off that. Fine tuning things, this is all that's all that this is about. So let's just fine tune my stuff. And making sure so it works for you. That's, that's all that matters. I guess I just try some stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing. Now, so I'm but that is definitely not what you want to do. Okay, now that hands are done, we're gonna apply all modifiers real quickly. You're gonna wanna shift right click to add a pinpoint. A cylinder for that one. Bring it up. Put the object up here. On shade smooth. Just smooth it out. Okay. Now, now that we have our character base, this is what we're looking like right now. It's looking pretty good, pretty good. If you want to jazz things up, let's say we want to make a demon or something, whatever. We go edit mode. Same thing we did. We should have done this before we added nerve modifier, but we're just gonna select those faces, extrude up, maybe extrude one more time, up in the same angle. Bring those points in. Remember, we can use a transparent tool so you can see what you're doing. And there we go. Perfect. Now, to add texture to something or a person, whatever, we're gonna go into edit mode. I want to select faces again, control L to highlight everything, go to materials tab, add a new material, assign, and let's make it red. Cool. So we're going to paint the rest of the body real quick. And there you go. We have made our first model. A little demon character. Now we can start animating him. You can either do the animation yourself or you can use programs like Mixamo, which will have preset animations that you can just add on to the scene. I'll show you how to do that now. So, what you want to do is just put everything together one time. Set origin, transform, apply all transforms. Yeah. Set origin to geometry. 3D center and mass. Cool. Now that we have our character, we're gonna highlight everything and go export. Export FBX. Let's call it tutorial. Export it into whatever folder that you feel comfortable, wherever you're gonna find it. In path mode, you wanna copy the path. This copies all textures and stuff. So once you transfer it over, transfer it back, your character will still look the same. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Blender does this thing. For a limit, you just wanna have selected. Let's go character mesh and export. So now we'll mix them up, go upload character, find our character. Now here's where the magic happens, you just gotta let Mixamo do his thing. It's doing this auto rigging process, so we just wanna see what it comes out like. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, but hopefully this is one of those times that do work. There you go. Now that your character is a Mixamo, it should be looking something like this. Like I said, Mixamo has a wide range of animations. You could just scroll through them and have a look at whatever you want to do. You could type them on the top. In a round that looks kind of cool, old man. I do maybe just a walk cycle. So that looks cool. So we use that, but we're gonna do in place. So maybe turn the rate up a bit. 
you can adjust some of the animations like how you want. So we're gonna download this, or download with skin, 30 frames per second, depends on your animation, you know, you just wanna match it with yours. And we're gonna go back into Blender, import FBX, desktop, and walk-in. Now we have a walk-in animation or whatever animation you added into Blender. And then that is pretty much how you do your first character, guys. But yeah, if this video helps, let me know. If it didn't help, let me know why it didn't help. Um, if y'all want to see anything else, let me know what y'all want to see. Um, and again, thank you again for watching. That was a cool journey.